All right, Business Law Group. I want to show you a little bit about the class materials, what's in here, and what we're going to talk about for um, the next semester. Your syllabus is in this folder along with the syllabus assignment. Make sure to do that four question assignment. My updated office hours are here. I did adjust them, um, and we can definitely do collaborate or phone call if you have questions. Um, if you do have MindTap issues where it's not working correctly, please contact um, Cengage. They will help you. Um, they need to. Ask, they might ask you questions about the browser you're using, um, the what screen you were in when it happened, whatever. I can't always answer those questions very, very critically for you. Um, so I'd ask you to contact the help desk um, at MindTap for those questions on MindTap. Um, the quicker you do that, the quicker they resolve the issue, um, and they're usually there. At, at many different times of the day. So I definitely recommend that. Um, this MyTab course is a quick link into the class so you don't have to go into the learning plans if you'd like to use that. Um, and then the discussion board rubric is here for um, our three discussion boards that we have. In each of the learning plans, I'll have a video for you to watch that I think is interesting, might apply to what we're talking about. If there's a discussion board, um, that will be here as well, um, along with any of the MyTab links for the chapters and the test at the end of each unit. Okay. Um, if I go into MindTap and take a look at the assignments, I know a few of you had expressed some concerns about the amount of points lost on some of the assignments, so I'm going to go ahead and get into MindTap here, not here. My other MindTap. Um, okay, so when I get into my tap, you probably want to be in this middle view, um, which is probably your right view. So the calendar view is a, there's a lot in there that you look at, um, and some of these aren't going to show up on yours, the ones with the black lines, but it just looks like a lot. Um, sometimes it's a little bit easier to look at each of the chapters. So all of your chapters within the unit are here, along with the learning plan. I think it's a more pleasant view. Again, the ones that are grayed out you won't see. Um, the chapter review is really there to help you prepare for the the test uh, and it's to make that go a lot faster for you and for you to get that um, well done on the first try. So those are practices. They don't count for points, but I highly recommend them and will also help you with um, a better command of the information in the chapter. The legal reasoning is an application assignment for each of the chapters. They're case studies. When you click into the case studies, I get that there's only three questions. It's 10 points. There's a lot weighing on all of your answers, but there is a check my work function. So in this first example, as an, as an example, there's the check my work. I have one remaining. Um, let's say I read the question. I narrow it down to two. I think we have to apply stereodesis, but I'm not really sure which one. So let's say I selected the first one, um, A instead of C, and I hit check my work, um, and it told me it was wrong. Okay, so now I know, well, I, I really do think we need to apply stereodesis, so I'm going to select that for my next question and then move on. So that's how you work those. Um, definitely use my check my work because in most of these questions you're going to be able to narrow it down to two answers. See, look at this one. Not guilty, not guilty, or guilty, guilty. So either you think they're going to be guilty or not guilty and why. Okay, I will go through the answers to these in a separate video, but just wanted to go through that with you. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Uh, if I go to the chapter test at the end of each unit, we have a 25-question test. You have unlimited takes for this, so you can take it as many times as you want. There's a pool of 250 or so questions, so likely you're not going to get the same question more than once, um, but certainly you can take it as often as you want. Um, there is a full book view, and if you set your screen up correctly, you can certainly take a look at this. In this case, this... Uh, this question talks about road collapsing in a landslide. Um, as a professional, Richard is held to the same standard of care as. Um, and so if I wanted to find that section in the book, I would go to unit one. And then I can look at what section I think that this might apply to. Um, so I think this is really duty of care. So I'm thinking it might be under civil law, but I'm not 100% sure. To be honest, I do not see duty of care in here, so um, it may be under tort law. Do 
duty of care. So I think it's under duty of care and um, the right. So this is the section that I would go into and I would review that and then answer the question. So you can use your book for this. It is open book. Um, you can take it as many times as you want and making it as, as um, user friendly as possible for you. Um, when you're reading the book as always there is the option to um, have the book the read duty to you. Of care and its breach. The basic principle underlying the duty of care is that people are free to act. So when you're reading your chapters, if you want to do dishes and have your tablet up and have the book read to you, you can certainly do that, um, especially if you don't like reading. Um, I have it set to a British male voice. You can adjust the, the voice by the speakers. Um, there's no male Australian or female male US, and you can speed up your, your speech as well. So that is MyTap. Now a couple of little tricks with MyTap is if you close out your window each time, it will open back up for you. So if I click on here and open it up, it will open up the link usually for me in front. If I don't close out that link, it will open it up behind the scenes and you might not see it. And you might say, where's my link? I can't find it. I don't know what happened. I'm confused, whatever. Um, it, it might hide on you. So you may have to hover over your Chrome icon and look for the MyTap link in the in behind the scenes. Um, it, the only other reason why it might not open for you is if your pop-up blocker is um, is blocked. So you want to enable pop-ups uh, for use with Cengage and MindTap. A couple other things for you to be aware of. Um, courtroom assessment, we're going to be going to the courtroom. Um, there's bonus points for physically going into the courtroom. There are some options for staying at home and watching it. So if you're losing some points on some of the assignments and you want to make up some points, you do get extra points for going into um, the courtroom and actually observing it. So that might be the best way for you to do that. I highly recommend that because I do think you will get more out of the classroom, um, the courtroom experience than just simply watching it. Um, watching it is a very passive experience at home. You don't get the same sense of emotion as you do in the courtroom. Um, but I understand that some of you work and have families and are busy lives. But it is a 20 point bonus point, which can make up an awful lot of points for you if you're losing some points in that homework assignment. So um, that is the extra credit for this uh, class. And I would definitely take take um, take that extra credit option. Um, so this is how you can look at the courts um, and what's happening in the courthouse for the week. Um, you can take you can go anytime. So I have this due mid semester, but you can go anytime you want um, to watch this. I'm not looking for a Judge Judy type of show, but um, there are some that you can watch online. This um, archive is there. Um, there's some famous court trials here um, that can be found on YouTube. Um, CBN.com has live broadcasts as well. I think you do have to pay for that subscription, but what I did was I found some current court cases and then I googled them and found them on YouTube. So that's another way to find maybe some more interesting ones so you're not all picking the same court case. Um, so and then the rubric is attached for where you get points for I'm writing this up. It's about three pages that I plan to have you write up for that assignment. So that is there uh, for you to do as well. And then the final project in this class is in Learning Plan 8, which is a paper and a topic for the paper. So I have some links to it where you can submit your paper. Um, the biggest caution I have with your paper is do not plagiarize it. Understand what plagiarism is. Use these research tutorial links and paraphrasing help. Um, you can't simply just rearrange words that you found on the internet and call it your own. Um, you need your own words and it needs to be your own thoughts. So unless it's um, not, and if it's not your own thoughts, then you uh, have to reference them, um, still in your own words, but reference them or put them in quotes. And please do not put your entire paper in quotes. Um, this is your writing, your paper. So uh, you should have maybe two to three small quotes in your paper and um, then make sure you cite everything else that is not an original thought and um, write it in your own words and then draw your conclusions at the end. This is a law and ethics class and it's um, ironic how many times I have people plagiarize the final paper. So please don't do that. That's my only watch out. You will get a zero on the paper. If I find that you've plagiarized in another class, you will fail a class. 
for it. Um, and if it's your third plagiarism, then you may be removed from the college. So um, that's kind of the course of action. Plagiarism is a pretty serious thing. And I just want to make sure that you are aware of what you can and cannot do so that it's not confusing. That's why all of these links are there. Also, the writing lab is there to assist you if you're concerned about how you're citing things or concerned about plagiarism. Um, that's definitely a great place to go. So that's the starting point for this. Um, our final discussion board is likely going to be a video uh, that I'm going to have you submit about your final paper. So hold off on that until I can get that set up. We're going to use some a different program um, to do that video link. I think that'll be fun to do for um, a class project and uh, more to come on that. If you need anything in the meantime, let me know. There'll be a follow-up video on the answers to uh, the analyze and hypotheticals case studies for each of the chapters to come. Okay, have a great week.